Just lost power again. I just put these on the pan. It's got like a water pipe warning that water pipes may burst. Just stock up on water before. All right, guys, so this is perfect. Our power just went out it's like outside in Texas. This is so our light is back on. It is Mama Sam 360 here. Before we begin, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click that bell icon for more content. Hey guys, so before we begin this video, um, if you see a light bulb that looks like this, that means the lights are working. If you see a light bulb that looks like this, that means the lights are off. So then you get a general idea of how long we've been out of light and how long we've had light. Hey guys, so welcome to a new vlog. Um, so we are on day two for no heat and no power. Um, again, I am Mama Sam and I am a first time mom of a now four month old. And um, we have no heat and no power. If you saw my last vlog, I ended with our first day of no heat and no power because we got a bunch of snow and ice that pretty much just ruined our power lines. So, what I'm trying to do now is, as you noticed in our last vlog, we tried to make chicken between each power outage, or at least when we got power. So now I'm trying to make tacos enough to last us all day. And so this is gonna be a challenge because our power goes like, it like comes on for 15 minutes and then goes off for like 20 minutes and then sometimes an hour and so yeah. Um, I had to call my work and say, hey, I'm not gonna make, make it because my power is inconsistent enough for me to actually work online. So I had to tell them that they completely understood because it's going across our whole city pretty much. So we are on day two and we are all freezing and I'm in like five layers. I've got my thermals on and everything. And um, baby has like five layers on too. He's got hats. I know it's shaking right now because I'm like really cold. So maybe I should put you on a stand or something. Okay, so I put you on a stand because uh, a lot of shaky cam going on, but we are on day two and it is crazy. I just fin finished the last video and it is being posted today. Um, so I had a bunch of time just to do that because our internet is going out and we literally have like no internet. And so I just have a lot of time on my hands and we've been doing like uh, playing in the snow and as you heard our... <laughs> electricity thing just went out it just started like 10 minutes ago and now it just went out and I managed to put this is what I managed to do okay let me let me show you what I managed to do okay so we're trying to make tacos and so I put that in there to heat to de-thaw and then I managed to put a pan with oil on there and um it shut up so yeah Literally, I'm cooking. It's going to take like an hour or so just to cook taco meat. So, yeah, it's going to take me like an hour just to cook some taco meat and put tacos together because I have 15 minutes between each power outage just to manage to make one taco. <sighs> that is the struggle today. And uh, my husband went out and started the cars to make sure that they didn't freeze over because yesterday they were all completely covered in ice and it was just something else. It was something else. So <laughs> we're just trying to stay warm and I'm trying to reheat water. Every time we get like some power, I try to reheat water to make sure the baby has warm water for his formula. Um, I'm giving him focusing on warm milk today because it keeps his insides warm. Another thing that I might have to do is wash our cloth diapers in our tub because we don't have enough power to hold a full laundry cycle. He's got some cloth diapers left, so I'm going to see if they can last today and maybe we'll have power tomorrow, but that's going to be pushing it. As... You know, as I stated before, we are looking for more cloth diapers to make us last a few days instead of like a couple of days. 
Um, we are getting low on regular diapers too, but we can't order any because Amazon delivery is closed in our area due to the weather. But I do have to give it to Amazon because I ordered some cloth diapers like five days ago and they were supposed to come five days ago or like three days ago. And due to the weather, they haven't come yet, but I did get a message today saying that they were on their way. So I have to give Amazon props for like trying to make it through this craziness. Like, yeah. Um, I think that's all I have for you right now. It is, it is like, I think it's almost noon. <laughs> Not really sure. Uh, I could look at my phone. Um, but yeah, it's almost noon and I'm trying to make tacos. So I'm going to give you up on my taco journey on <laughs> all this. Baby and my husband are sleeping. What we did was we took our sheets and then we put like a, these fleece, bl this fleece blanket between the sheet and the comforter. And then we put the comforter down and we put another fleece blanket and then we put another comforter down. So we've got like six layers of blankets on our bed just to keep us all warm. And we've been in our room to trap some of the heat in the room, so we shut the door and try to stay in there. Most most of the time, that's what we're trying to do, is trying to trap heat in there. Um, so, yeah. Guys, okay, so we are outside in the snow. Um, so, yeah, this is kind of fun. In good old Texas. We're trying to see if the snow is ready for building snowmen, but so far it kind of is and kind of isn't. Don't worry, baby is all wrapped up in layers and he is all comfortable and still warm, so he is fine. Yep. Um, he's got his hat on. Yep, he's got a hat on. <laughs> um, I am from South Dakota, so babies outside in the winter is like a usual thing for me, so. Yeah, so we're trying to build a snowman and it's not really working out, but we'll see. Hey guys, good morning. It is Wednesday, February 17th, and we are still experiencing power outages. So this little clip right here is going to say that I, last night, I went and I, uh, hand washed all my cloth diapers because you have to hand wash your cloth diapers sometimes if the smell is getting to the to you sometimes if you wash your diapers um like there's still that smell and you're like i've washed this a million times but to properly take care of a cloth diaper and the lining you have to hand wash them and let them soak for a while so i'm going to show you what i did right now all right guys so i'm going to show you how i hand wash my cloth diapers what you're going to do is you're going to fill it up with warm to hot water and then you're going to take the diapers and pull them apart like you would put a mission in the wash the reason why you hand wash them is because number one even washing regular diapers sometimes the stink doesn't come out so by hand washing them you're able to control that stink and get it out um, you also want to use borax when you put this in the tub. You want to use hot water, rinse it, and then do it again. You do it uh, two washes, and then once you completely wash them off, you want rinse it in cold water. You take each one, and then you rinse them in cold water. Um, and then um, you want to lay them out to dry, or you can put them straight into your dryer. So now it is the next day and I went back into the bathroom and I actually flipped some of the liners 
so they could dry it on the other side. So the smaller liners are almost completely dry, um, but the most conventional way to actually do that, as I mentioned, is to actually hang them up and hang them outside. But our outside is not as cheerful as it would be. So, um, yeah, I'm just trying to dry them as best as I can. Right now, baby has disposables on, and this is why you actually have disposables just in case something that happens like this. So, yeah, um, we are so lucky to have power right now. Um, what I did this morning is I just got done making my oatmeal right here. Um, if you want to know what I put in my oatmeal, check out my Instagram. Um, yeah, so I'm not actually working right now because yesterday I didn't work because we actually had a power outage for a very long time and um, it prevented me from not working. I mean, from uh, prevented me from working. So yeah, today is a new day. Today is a better day. We'll see how the power outages will be today in order for me to work. So yep, that is what's going on. Um, back kitchen is clean still. Um... So, we'll see what happens. So, it is... Uh, we just lost power again. After 24 minutes of power, we are now without power. So, that is awesome. Lucky I just... I did what I needed to. I got water. I got my husband oatmeal. Um, I got my baby a bottle. And now I'm going to wash because we still have water, thank goodness. So I'm going to start washing bottles and dishes and stuff like that to keep myself busy during this time. Um, I'm just trying to get things done. Once power comes on, I use it as advantage to heat up water for bottles, heat up food, anything like that. So we pretty much adjust, it, adjust our schedule to when we have electricity. And so we're just living a different way. So yeah, um, we are, right now we can't really do anything without the power. It, amaz it amazes me how much we rely on our power. Like, my husband and I are like rethinking our electricity and stuff. Like, maybe we should have gone solar or looked up blue solar panels or something, you know, to get power. You know, maybe we should have gone that route because this summer we had actually a solar panel company come look at our house. And then we decided against it. Um, but um, we, maybe we should get like solar power flashlights or something. You know, we're actually rethinking our energy usage at this point. Um, I guess that's like why we experience stuff like this. Because then we rethink how we live pretty much. So that's what we're doing. If it's reflecting off my glasses, I'm actually using self-illuminating light from my camera. Just so y'all can see me. Um... So, yeah, um, right now baby is being warm and cuddled with my husband to try to keep him warm, and right now I'm just trying to, like, get stuff done, so then one of us is keeping the baby warm while the other one is, um, trying to get stuff done around the house and stuff like that, so, yeah, that's how we're doing, that's what we're doing, and so... Let's just try to keep a positive attitude. Another thing that I want to add is that I've been, since I've been timing them, we are actually on eight minutes currently of no power. And um, from what I've been timing them, they we've had like a span of like 15 minutes of power and 30 minutes of no power and then 15 minutes of power and 30 minutes of no power. That seems to be the pattern today. Yesterday was different. Yesterday was like 45 minutes of no power to an hour. And then now it's, so it, it sounds like it's improving. So we'll see what the day brings and stuff like that. So I'm timing it right now. So we're about eight to nine minutes in with no power. And so I just got to keep moving my body around to keep me warm. 
and keep my body warm and stuff like that. So hopefully when the power kicks in, I can start filling glass, filling bottles of water. We are now 14 minutes without power and we are still sitting here waiting for the power to come on so I can get stuff done. Um, I am pretty warm still, so I'm not cuddled in a blanket. My main concern is just to keep the baby warm so he's bundled with the husband, with the daddy. And William, I mean, Odin is over here huffing at me because we are running low on doggy food. So I gave him oatmeal instead. So he's got a full tummy. Um, I've been watching my Amazon Fresh orders to see when Amazon can deliver some orders. But with this weather, it's probably going to be after. And then after, we just want to go to ATB anyways. Grocery shopping anyways. But <laughs> let me tell you. So, my husband went grocery shopping before this all hit, and it was like, people were just, like, stashing. The shelves were empty. Everything was empty. Like, we couldn't even get eggs. There was no eggs. So, we grabbed what we could, and we left. Um, so, we had pork chops, and ground beef, and spicy sausages, and brats, and that was pretty much it. Yep. Um. Oh, and chicken. So... I mean, we got some food to eat, um, so we're not completely starving. I'm just more worried about, like, because we ran low on dog food and there was no dog food to grab. So we're just going to have to feed our dog, like, oatmeal or something, you know, part of our meals until we can give him some dog food, which we normally do anyways. We normally, like, make his own little meal with healthier foods because sometimes dog foods have, like, processed stuff that you don't want to eat. Um... The way I think about it is if you don't want to try it, don't give it to your dog. So, yeah. Um, so, we are about 16 minutes in. <laughs> with no power. But we're still trucking along and we're still making it and we're still making things happen. Thank you guys for watching this video. Um, I don't even know how long this is. I haven't pieced together everything yet. So, I don't know how long this is. Um, I did it a lot yesterday to get things done. Um, we can't even do a full load of laundry. We have clothes. We just, it's just, our laundry is just sitting in there and we haven't even done it yet. Like I tried to do it the other day and the electricity went out. Couldn't even finish the load. So that's what's going on. Um, what else? Um, if you see halfway through the videos where it just goes black all of a sudden, um, I'm gonna put, ah, oh, the lights just came on. So, yeah, let me see what time. Use my fingers. All right, so we are, that took 18 minutes of no power. So now it's back on, and we're going to start filling those with water, and I'm gonna lock back into work and let them know what happened. All right, guys, so I'm gonna add that um, we actually just got rid of a bunch of our water bottles, like, weeks ago we brought them to goodwill because we had a lot of water bottles um but we do have ice cream containers so i just put water in these ice cream containers as a place to store water so that's why i'm filling these up so yep if you're questioning what i'm doing i'm trying to survive all right guys so i'm doing a quick video mama sam here it is like seven o'clock at night and we just got like a water pipe warning that a water pipes may burst so i boiled some water and put it in the tub for drinking water that we need for later so i added more water and this is what we have for water right now we have a couple behind there we're just trying to stock up on water before our water goes out and then we got some drinks back there but we mostly we just need to stay hydrated as much as possible and with our mother-in-law coming, I need to restock our water supply so it fits four people, well, five people. Wait, four people. So yeah, that's what I'm doing right now, just restocking my water supply in case our water goes out. All right, so we have light. We are going to quickly put these on before it goes out again. I only season one side so I can season the other side here in a bit. Um, we just do basic salt and pepper. Num. And I also do a little bit of garlic seasoning on top. Just to give it some little garlicky taste. 
And my husband, he likes to season the pan, but I don't ahead of time. But we cook very differently on pork chops. Um, I think that's all we put on it. Yep. So I'm gonna put some peppers on this and then we'll get going. All right guys, so this is perfect. Our power just went out and it lasted like 20 minutes, you say? You think so? You think 20 minutes? You think 20 minutes, huh? He's thinking 20 minutes too. So um, this is how far we got on our pork chops. Let me show you. <laughs> so our light is back on and our oven our stove top is finally heating up so we can finish all this and meal prep it into our containers, which I will show you once everything's all ready. Oh yeah, and we decided to put leftover pasta with our meal prep. So we'll show you all that once it's ready. guys I'm probably gonna end the vlog here but I want to show you what it looks like outside in Texas this is the road this is literally how it feels when I lived in South Dakota um, the roads are complete ice I actually our printer went out so I will ask my neighbor if he could print out something for me so that's why I'm like in the middle of the road right now so I'm trying to make my way back without slipping so yeah, let me turn this camera around so you can see. Look at that. That is all ice. Like don't even drive in that. Yeah, that is all ice. So we got my mother-in-law last night because she had no heat and no air. I mean, no water, no nothing. So we want to go get her um, just to help her feel safe and warm. And she's with us right now. She's with her grandson. And He's really happy to see her and that relationship is there so we're all safe everybody's safe my uh my son's great grandparents finally got their power back and the water back today after 74 hours of none so yeah this is this literally feels like i'm back in south dakota yep so I'm going to take a picture and then I'm going to get back inside. 